Hey guys, Maxion here, and welcome back to some news you might have missed. So this week there have been a couple interesting news items. For starters, NVIDIA showed off a tablet. This was back in June. It was called the uh, Tegra Note Reference Tablet. Now, in June they showed the, an early version of the tablet that had some interesting things, such as an improved passive stylus technology that they called... Um, direct stylus technology. Um, no real count for originality and naming, but oh well. But what does this mean? Well, Tegra, not exactly developing these retail tablets themselves, have their partners who are going to be bringing these tablets to market. In the United States, that means you should see this tablet um, branded with uh, something like EVGA or PNY, you know, from one of those companies. Um, for around the neighborhood of uh, 200 US dollars. In other parts of the country, it will be branded with uh, different ones. But uh, you can check that out at the link in the description below and see exactly what sorts of uh, names you should be looking for when this comes out in your area. HP is now back for round two of the tablet wars, and they have five new tablets that they showed off. Four are Android tablets, and one is a Windows-based tablet. Let's get you the rundown. The first is the Slate 7 HD followed by the Slate 7 Extreme, the Slate 8 Pro, the Slate 10 HD, and then for the Windows tablet, the Omni 10. Now, uh, these tablets all have varying degrees of specifications. Uh, to be honest, none of them look overly interesting. But uh, we'll see what HP does to stand out from the rest of the pack a little bit. You can check out those specifications at the... Uh, press release in the description. Every so often, I like to peruse through the online stores to see if I can find a tablet that's gone up on an online store before I get the press release. And such a thing happened this week. As I was looking through the walmart.com site, who has a new tablet out but Monster Audio? So the tablet is rather mundane. The specifications don't really seem to stand out at all, with the exception that it comes in a variety of colors that seem to match up pretty well with their headset colors. So with such mundane specifications, here's to hoping that Monster can take this and uh, find some way to make it stand out from the rest of the pack. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week for some more news that you might have missed.